Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be explaining to you guys how can you add a PDF widget onto your Squarespace website. Now, to do so, you'll have to use a third-party website that's called Elfsite, which is basically the best website, in my opinion, for gathering widgets uh, for completely free. Now, you'll have to sign up in the top right corner. As you can see, I already, I already signed up into my account. It takes one minute, so you'll just type your email, your password, and you'll be good to go. Now, in the widget search bar, you'll type in PDF. The one that you'll look for is PDF Embed. Click on that one. As you can see, you can choose a template that you would like, and you can see how it looks. Uh, it will take a couple of seconds to load. This one looks completely fine. Uh, let's just roll with this one. However, you choose the one that looks the best for you. I'll click on continue with this template. You will add a file that you would like your visitors to see on your website and get, uh, get a widget title. For now, I'll just get the sample one and click on add to website for free. Now, you'll have to choose uh, a Okay, click on publish then. Now you'll have to choose a plan. As you can see, there are a couple of plans and one of them that I would recommend to you is the free plan. Uh, it works just as good as the other ones. It's just that with the other ones, if you plan on using them more frequently, uh, then you can consider using these ones. However, only for one widget on your website, you can select the free pack. Uh, and as you can see, it leads us to a new page where you can see the widget code. Now you'll copy the code and go back to your website. Go back to the home page, click on pages, scroll down until you see the utilities and then click on website tools. In the custom code, you'll click on code injection. And now choose a page where you would like to paste your code. For example, I'll do it in the footer area. I'll just paste the code that I got from the elf site. Click on save. And let's see what we've done. Let's go back. And if I scroll all the way down to the footer, we should be able to see the sample PDF file. It takes a couple of seconds to load right now, but we'll see it in a second. And there we go. As you can see, the PDF file is there in our footer as we set it. Uh, your PDF file will be also here if you implement the link of your PDF file. You can also put it in other pages. I just put it in footer so it's easier for me to find it to show you. Uh, however, that's basically that for this video. It's that simple. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.